So to do a problem like this, there's two different ways to do it. And I'm going to show you two different ways and um, whatever way kind of works for you guys the best. The first way I like to do it is, guys, I don't like subtracting at all. So the first way I would prefer to do this, actually, you know what, I'm going to show you the other way first. If you guys remember, when you first learned to add or subtract, we learned the vertical method, right? Just take one number, put them on the top, and then add or subtract. When you first learned how to add and subtract polynomials, that's what we did. Since we're treating our i just like it was a, a variable, we can do that method as well. So all I'm going to do is write negative 5 minus i minus 3 minus 8i. Right? You guys remember like the good old subtraction bar? And you just put one on top of the other. Remember, you have to make sure you only, sorry, you have to make sure you subtract the reals from the reals and the imaginary from the imaginary. So when you do it like this, make sure you say it out loud. Negative 5 minus 3. That's negative 8. Negative i minus a negative 8i. Since they're the same term, you can subtract them. But that negative minus a negative 8 is a double negative, which is going to make it positive. So negative i minus a negative 8 is going to become plus 7i. Now, let's look at this a different way, because some of you don't like subtraction. So let's, how can we change this to an addition problem? To change this to an addition problem, you can rewrite it by applying the distributive property. Therefore, but when I just apply the distributive property, I have negative 5 minus i. And then I multiply this through, so it's negative 3 minus 8i. So now what I've done, since I've distributed this, I can now just combine my reals and can combine my imaginaries. So we have negative 5. Oh, I'm sorry. Negative, no wonder I was getting that wrong. Negative times 3 is negative 3, and negative times negative i is there. So I have negative 5 times negative 3 is going to be negative 8 plus 7i. Okay? There you go. 